Hello everybody, welcome back to my video. Um, I'm starting out with my cats today because everyone just seems to love seeing them on camera. Um, if you're wondering, I am giving them these freeze dried duck breast treats. It's purely just one ingredient. They go crazy for it. Um, I just thought I would have them on camera while I introduce what we're doing today. Um, I am doing a team haul. I had my past hauls, I really didn't like the stuff, but I also stayed towards the really cheap stuff. So I decided to give it another chance. Um, and I have three different categories. I have potential stocking stuffers for my family members. Um, I have some survival gear that I'm going to put into my family's EDC kit. In case you don't know, I'm making EDC kits for all my close family members. So I got some stuff from there. Um, and I also got some... I'm trying to think. Oh, I guess those are only really my only two categories. Um, but they're kind of broken down like what Christmas stockers I'm going to do review on how they came. I'll tell you how much everything was. Um, and if I feel like it's a good quality or not. If I like recommend you guys buying it. Um, so let me get these little creatures off my desk. I've been breaking the treats just in case if anyone is curious. Oh, as I rock the tripod. Sorry about that. Um, okay, girls, calm down. They really love these treats. Um, I got them from Amazon in case anyone's interested. They go absolutely wild for it. I'm going to get these creatures off the desk and, um, I will be right back. Okay, well, my cats don't really want to get off the desk, so they might be visiting while I do the haul. Um, I just want to also state I have this towel down purely because my desk um, shows the reflection of the light that's above it. So um, I know it's kind of annoying in videos. Oh my gosh, these cats. I shouldn't have given them treats beforehand because now they won't stop bothering me. Um, and so that's why that's here, the towel. Um, okay. So to start off, these are all stocking stuffers. Um, I have this, it said that it's a sloth, but this is definitely an otter to me. It said sloth holding um, a fish. I don't think so, not in my opinion. Um, but it looks really good quality. It does not come with the, if you see on this bead, it doesn't come with like this foam, but I'm honestly okay with that, especially for the price as it was, $2.88. Um, it can I can easily find a piece of styrofoam to put with it. That's all it is. Um, but it looks like it comes with everything else. It comes with like the, the fluff and the needles to poke it to form it. Um, I don't know if it comes with directions. Yeah, it looks like it comes with directions on the inside. Um, so I'm happy with that. Um, and then I also have this orange cat. One of my friends has an orange cat, so I'm going to stick this in hers. Um, let's see here. I didn't, I don't want to open it because they're stocking stuffers. Well, I can steal it back up. Okay, so it comes with the styrofoam in this one. And it comes with the needles and the equipment. Does it come with the needles? Let's see here. Comes with the whiskers and the, uh, I don't know what to call it, the fluff. I don't see, unless if this is the needle, I don't see it. So um, I'm not too sure about this one. I'll have to see if I can read more reviews on this. It does come with the whiskers, girls. My cats think I have treats. That was a mistake. Um, I don't see the needle. Interesting. Okay. I'll look at the bee and kind of see from there. And the cat was $1.97. So the otter was more expensive and didn't come with the styrofoam. So that's interesting. I don't have any more treats, guys. And then I have this bee, same thing, it's one of those pokes with the needle and it turns into the animal object, what have you. 
Um, and it also has the styrofoam with it. Oh, needles. Are these the needles? Yes, it does have needles in this one, on the styrofoam. Okay, so it does come with the needles for this one. And comes with the other accessories. No directions. I sh oh. But it does come with the QR code for the, um, like, instructions. So that's cool. Comes with all the fluff and all the accessories. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. Let's see here. The B was $273. I'm surprised the cat was more expensive because it seems bigger, but that's totally fine. So these are all stocking stuffers. I want to check the foam on the cat to see if they did the same thing and stuck the needles in the foam. If not, I'll just get a needle and stick it in there. Oh, it did. It has the needles, guys. So win all the way around. I think these are great qualities, fun little stocking stuffers, non-expensive. I'm happy with this, which is a surprise because last time I was not so happy with Team Moo's stuff. So um, also comes with hand printed directions um, as well as I'm guessing this is also a QR code for a tutorial. So I'm happy with those. I'm really happy with those. So um, I 10 out of 10 recommend these. Um, this one does not come with the, the styrofoam. I might just find a block of it and like attach it to the back. But I'm still happy with it. It comes with all the accessories you need besides the foam. And in fact, I think that I misread this and I thought it said it comes with styrofoam, but it might have said it doesn't come with styrofoam. So that might honestly just be my fault. So that's okay it's an easy fix although like i said this one's more expensive so weird um and then i also have this crochet green plant um the stickers in it on front of it unfortunately when i try to pull it off it like starts tearing um but i don't know if i can open this without okay so it's one of these crochets where you make a like a little cup holder and it forms into a plant. Um, my stepmom crochets, um, but she doesn't really make these kind of like the formed stuff. So I thought this might be um, fun for her. I know that doesn't make sense, but um, she's a beginner is what I'm trying to say. So I thought this might be fun for her to do. It's a nice stocking stuffer. I like bigger stocking stuffers. Um, in my family, we all kind of put some stocking stuffers in. So that way, one person isn't um, in charge of all the stockings. Um, so I like that a lot. And let's see here. That was $5.98. I've seen them so much more expensive on other websites. So I'm really happy with that. Um, again, all of this felt really, really nice. So 10 out of 10 recommend that as well. And then I have a friend who um, is like a family member, but um, she's not technically family, but she's like one of those close friends that she celebrates every holiday with us. And she really likes puzzles. So this is a 150 piece puzzle and it's of um, like it kind of looks like it's a painted picture almost of like fall trees. And I know by Christmas it won't be fall. But I thought it'd be really pretty. She loves puzzles, um, but she like gets really into them. So she tells me not to get her any more than like a thousand piece puzzle. But for a stocking stuffer, I thought this was cute. It feels good quality. I can't tell you from the inside um, how the puzzle pieces are. But let me touch them actually. Then I can tell you. They're tiny. They're really tiny, but they feel they feel really good. They feel like any other puzzles. Um, and the puzzle was three forty um, three dollars and forty cents, which I feel like is also a great price. Now I'm I'm really happy with all of these. All of these I recommend ten out of ten. Something I'm very disappointed in are these mini Lego sets. 
Um, the quality is really good, but the almost all the boxes came damaged, and these are supposed to be stocking stuffers. Um, so not too happy with that. This one literally came ripped like this, and you're like, well, Emily, why don't you just take out the the pieces? That's because it comes with the instructions inside the box. So literally, you can't re-gift this because the instructions are inside the box. So that's disappointing. Um, these aren't Legos, but they're like the Lego knockoffs. Um, so this one, this box is literally crushed. Get my cat out of your guys' view. So this box is literally crushed. This one's okay, the snowman. Oh, this is a tree. This was a reindeer. Um, the Santa is okay. It's a little bit on the side, but it's not awful. Um, the truck, totally smashed on the inside. And the elf, the whole box is pretty much destroyed. Um, so the Legos were $1.52 each. Timu um, did refund me for all of them, even the ones that are good. Um, so I'm trying to debate if I'm going to reorder them because they're really good quality and hope that the boxes don't get damaged again or what I'm going to do. So please leave a comment. I would just hate to gift things that are so crushed. You know what I mean? Like that's not very fun to give a totally crushed gift. Also, another thing I don't love about Timu is they stick these stickers on and they're awful to get off. Like, that's not coming off. Um, I don't love this big, like, sticker that's on there. So, I guess there's that as well. And they don't even stick the sticker on the same size each time. Like, sometimes it's on the back, which would be more okay. Or sometimes it's on the front where the picture is and you can't find what it is easily. So I don't know. I would recommend these a 10 out of 10 if the boxes didn't come destroyed and if there wasn't a huge sticker on it. Um, if I were to write them exactly how they are right now, maybe a 4 out of 10. Because um, the packaging really matters when you're doing stocking stuffers. And plus, that's not okay to me. I don't know if that was in... If you guys ever order from Timo, you know that they just kind of throw everything in a bag and say goodbye to it. Um, they're not really precious with their shipping. But um, I know for the price, they're good quality. It's just I'm not happy with how they came personally. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I will figure that out later. Um, next, let's pull out a fun one. This is a bone arrow, and it's functional. Um, it's like a little toy, but it's functional. It's so cool. My dad um, used to hunt with arrows, or with a bone arrow. He doesn't so much anymore. He does it more the traditional way now, but um, I know he misses it. And so this is so cool. Um, I think this was the most expensive thing I got. Um, yes, eight sixty-two, eight dollars sixty-two cents, and I don't know how to use it, and I don't really want to break it. Um, but it does come with the directions, um, and all these little pieces. Again, I don't know how to use it, but it does say it's functional, and then it also comes with like this scoreboard, which I find is really cool. Um, quality-wise, just from feeling it. I would say it's a 10 out of 10. It feels really, really sturdy. I feel like the price was really good for this. There was multiple options that you could do. Um, so I'm really excited for my dad to receive this in his stocking. I think it will be a fun little surprise. It's so hard to buy him stocking stuffers. Um, I would say it's a 10 out of 10 from feeling it. I don't know how it will be once um, it's actually used because I don't know how to use it to test it out. Um, plus, I don't really want to use someone else's gift. <laughs> um, these are also stocking stuffers. I haven't decided what it's going to go on whose, but they're little mini instruments. So you have like this little frog. Um, I don't love, I mean, it works. It feels, I don't know. 
I feel like it feels pretty cheap. It works, but um, it has some dents in it. And I'm not sure if they're meant to have dents in it. Um, but it's cool. I did put in a request for refund because there is an indent um, right here on the belly. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. And on the tops, there are several big indents. Um, and I took a picture and sent it to them and said, if this is what it's supposed to look like, don't worry about it. If not, um, if you're willing to refund, that would be great. And they just gave me the refund, which I thought was very nice. Um, this is really cool. I love this. So this is a mini little piano and you flick the ends of it. And it makes different noises. I thought that was really cool. My family is very um, musical and they play instruments. I did not get that gene. So that was really cool. I love that a lot. This was $2.31. Great price in my opinion. I love that so much. Feels 10 out of 10. Um, this one I feel is like a 5 out of 10. Maybe 6 out of 10. It just feels really cheap. And it was one of the more expensive items. So... This one I feel like is a steal. I've seen these on other websites and in store and they were so much more expensive. But it's a little, it's a little drum. I don't know what kind of drum, but. Does that not sound amazing? And it comes with like this little stopper. I just love this. It's probably one of my favorites and it was $4.63. So. My cats are reviewing with me. That's definitely 10 out of 10. It feels really sturdy. It plays really well. Um, the packaging came in great. I'm really happy with these items. Okay, so those are all the stocking stuffers I have. On to more of the survival survival items for my EDC. Um, I'm really excited about. All of these look to be in great shape. I wish my cats would leave me alone right now, but I should not have given them treats because now that's all they want. It's okay. They're cute. This is Ava and this is Zoe. Um, but I'm really happy with all of these items. By the way, all my family members who will be getting these are not allergic to cats. I will be wiping them down just so it doesn't have fur on them. But just so you guys know, I know some people are concerned about that. Um... Make sure that my camera's facing still. So, I'm very, very excited about all of these. I want to start with, out with probably my most favorite item, and that's these scissors, these compact scissors. I've been looking into these forever for myself and to put in my um, family's EDC kits I'm making them. And um, Amazon is so expensive. I can't... This was $6.79 for a six-pack. And what you do is you pull them out and then you bend them and then they're turning into little scissors and they work. They really work. I'm trying to find something that I can, they work on paper. Oh, and they work on plastic. Guys, do you see that? I love it. I love it. I would say 10 out of 10. I have been wanting these forever for my own stuff, for my own purse EDC kit and to put into my families. Um, I'm very happy with that. They're a little bit hard to put away. So what you do is you put them in and then you push in sides, but it works. I'm very happy. Feels very sturdy. Not like not going to break super duper easily. And a six pack for $6.79, that's just a little bit over a dollar for each one. And I'm ha very, very, very happy with that. Um, then also for the EDC kits for my family, I got these little mini nail clippers. So what you do is you lift up the side and on the inside is the clipper part. It feels great. It feels like an actual nail clipper. Let's see if it does. Well, the plastic is a bit hard. Let me try a piece of paper. Yeah, I made an indent. That's going to cut your nail for sure. Um, feels great to put it away. You just go like this. I feel like that's great quality. Um, it does have the logo on it, which I don't love, but um, it is what it is. I got four of them, and they were, um, I'm looking at my little notes here. 
$1.93 and I got four of them. Um, I feel like that was also a steal. I've been looking into bulk nail clippers on Amazon as well. They were way, way more expensive um, and also came in too much. I didn't need like a 10 pack of nail clippers. I needed four. So I'm happy with that. I would say also, I'd say eight out of 10. Um, they do, they feel sturdy, but not like extremely sturdy, if that makes sense. Like these feel like not from Timu, where these feel like maybe from Timu, but still good quality. Um, I got these multi-tools to put in my family's EDC kits um, to take up a little bit less room than an actual like multi-tool. Plus, multi-tools are expensive. I'm making, I make, I made five, um, but I'm making four. I have one already made. Um, so I do have this great quality. I have never used these before, um, so. Let's see, a can opener, knife edge, screwdriver, ruler, cap opener, four position rent, um, butterfly wrench, saw blade, um, two position wrench, lanyard hole slash key ring. Sorry if you hear the background noise. That's my cat playing with all the garbage that's on the floor from opening the package. So it feels good. I've never used them before. Um, I would say eight out of 10. I don't know how realistically these will work. I'll have to try one out. Um, anyways, I got four of them, um, for 78 cents. So I bought them four separate ones. They didn't come in a pack, but that's, I feel like that's a really good deal. Oh my gosh. Okay. I got these to put into EDC kits. Not going to work. This is huge. Usually with Timu, things come out smaller than you think they are. Um, or, yeah, smaller, like you'll expect it to be bigger, and then it comes smaller. This is huge. And for a two-pack, it was $2.98. That's a great deal. So I will use these, um, but I'm going to use these in my actual, like, bug-out bags. And I will put the smaller ones that I have in my bug-out bags that are, like, half the size, maybe even less. To put into my dad's EDC kit. I'm putting a little bit different stuff in his than um, in the rest of ours. Some things that are in the girls, he won't, he won't need, won't use. So um, most of them are all the same. There's a few adjustments I'm making. And once I make all of those, I will do a video for you guys for sure. Um, and then I got this sewing pack to put in the EDCs. I'm very happy with it. It comes with um, a little bit of yarn. Or string thread I guess threads the right word thread a couple buttons um, a safety pin I already have safety pins in there that or will but it works um, and a needle and this was a 10 pack for one dollar and 89 cents that was a absolute steal to me um, Amazon I run into different problems they do have them kind of cheap on there but they come in like a 50 or 100 pack and um, I don't need that many. I just don't. So um, I love this. I'll probably add one to my own first aid kit and a couple to my own bug out bag and for the EDC kits. I'm very pleasantly surprised with that. I would, I forgot to rate these. This would be like a 10 out of 10. It just came out big, which I feel like is fine. I'd rather have bigger than too small. Um, and these definitely 10 out of 10, great quality. Comes with what it said. Um, and then last but not least, I got these little compasses. Um, I think they, they, they seem to work. Um, do I know that they're the greatest quality? Oh. Oh. Okay. Do, let me see if they actually... I don't know if these are actually working. They're not going in the same directions and some aren't moving at all. Okay, well, that's good to know now. So I can get something different. These were gonna go in the EDC kits, but some aren't even moving. Okay, interesting. I was gonna say Amazon is way more expensive, but this might be one item that is worth 
paint a little bit more for because these don't seem to be working. And if they are working, they don't go in the same directions as the other. So, no. I would not suggest these. I would give them like a 1 out of 10. Because if a compass base doesn't work, then what's the point of having it? It's just kind of like junk at that point. So, um, compasses, let's see here. It was a 5 pack for 89 cents. Okay, that makes sense. A 5 pack for 89 cents might have been pushing the luck there. Um, so no, I would not recommend this. Um, my conclusion for these Timu items. In my past, I bought things that were really, really cheap, kind of like these compasses that did not work, broke easily, would not recommend them. You can go check out my other videos. Um, if you were willing to spend a little bit more money on Timu, you'll still get a better price. And I feel like the items are great quality. But you also might run into the issue because Timu doesn't really care about their packaging. Like, they don't secure it. You might end up with things like this. So, I still feel like Timu is a gamble. I do feel like you can get some really good quality items still. Um, it just kind of feels like it's a gamble. But Timu do, does seem to be willing to work with you on refunding your items. Um, I don't know... This time it says that I didn't have to return the items that I wanted to. Um, but I don't know if that's just a one-time kind of thing. Um, but yes, I was happy with most of the stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with these trash boxes. Because <laughs> I don't really feel comfortable gifting these. Um, maybe I'll just have a whole bunch of Legos to build <laughs> for Christmas. Um, and get some different stocking stuffers. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you. Bye.